everybody. In this short video I would like to give you an overview of Data Carpentry. What it is, its history, its mission and who is behind this organization. And I will also try to give you an overview of what the Data Carpentry lessons are about, where to find them and which tools and languages they teach. And finally I will discuss how you can attend a Data Carpentry workshop as an individual or as a group or how you can host a workshop as a research group or as an organization. And in this video you will also find how you can get involved in Data Carpentry as a helper or instructor or how you can contribute to their lesson material. And you can find them on datacarpentry.org. The other link that I would like to open up is carpentries.org. And I will discuss in a moment how these two relate to each other. So what is data carpentry? Data carpentry is, is a collection of lessons and workshops, but it is more than that. It is also an organization and it is first and foremost a community. And a few words about the history of data carpentry. So in the, in the last 10 to 15 years, the carpentries have grown from few workshops on software and data tools and practices given in very few places run by very few enthusiasts and over the years the project has grown to an organization which has delivered over 3,000 workshops in over 70 countries to over 60,000 learners and trained close to 3,000 volunteer instructors and I'm one of them. So Data Carpentry's vision is to build communities teaching universal data literacy and data carpentry trains researchers in the core data skills for efficient shareable and reproducible research practices by running accessible and, and inclusive training workshops the material is open source it's openly available and the and focus is put on fostering an active, inclusive, diverse instructor community that promotes and models reproducible research as a community norm. Who is behind this organization? Data Carpentry is part of the Carpentries. It's a non-profit organization registered in the US, governed by an executive council and financed by a membership model where universities and, and organizations donate a certain sum each year to support the operation of the organization and typically also with the benefit to get access to a certain amount of seats in the carpentries instructor training and I will say something about that in a moment. Let us have a look at the data carpentry lessons and for this let me expand these links and we find lessons for a number of academic disciplines so there is ecology and genomics and social sciences and geospatial research and and more and among these you will find lessons on a number of tools so lessons focusing on spreadsheets on data cleaning with open refine on data management and databases with sql data visualization in r and python data wrangling and cloud computing and indeed there is much more than that. All the lessons are freely accessible and open source. Here are links to, to the GitHub repositories but also to the, to the lesson pages. You can use them, you can reuse them, adapt them and contribute back. So how can you attend a data carpentry workshop? Uh, well, or how can you host a workshop in your department and organization? So one way to connect is to reach out to, to the carpentries and request a workshop. Another option is that your university or your organization might already be a member organization of, uh, of the carpentries and might already be sponsoring their efforts. So you could also reach out to your organization and ask them to be connected to Carpentries instructors in your area. Yet another way to connect to 
instructors in your area or country is to join a community call. So here is a community calendar, community handbooks, community discussions. So these are typically monthly discussion events where instructors and helpers meet and where you can learn about upcoming activities. And at the beginning of the video, I have mentioned that Data Carpentry is a lesson program within the Carpentries. So there is, there is more, there is not only Data Carpentry, there is Library Carpentry and Software Carpentry. And there are even more projects that are not a Carpentry lesson program yet. Uh, they teach workshops in many different topics from basic to intermediate to advanced using the Carpentry's interactive teaching style. So have a look and check them out. And finally, something I can highly recommend to do for those of you who would enjoy teaching tools and programming languages to, to your research colleagues is to take part in, in a Carpentry's instructor training, which gives an excellent introduction into teaching tech to tech topics to students and researchers. Not so much focusing on the actual tech aspect or the programming languages, but focusing on the pedagogy of teaching and, and on improving the learning experience. And this is one of the best ways to get involved. And after the instructor training, you can join forces with other instructors and set up a workshop. And this is a lot of fun and, and a great learning experience. So I'm hope, hoping to see you soon at, at the Data Carpentries workshop. Thanks for listening.